Hello my fellow warriors and welcome back from another airsofting video from Woodland Warriors NL. Today we've got another unboxing to do and also a review to make. First up we're gonna take a look at today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Bugatti. Bugatti is the German airsoft webshop you should check out. Not only do they sell airsoft replicas but they also innovate and create their own airsoft items like AK rotary hop ups, battery grips, assault packs and many more items so make sure to check them out back to the video so guys back to the unboxing let's open this one up and find out what's inside For today's review, we are reviewing the Bugatti AKM, the sports version with the polymer skeleton stock. I also ordered two extra magazines. These are mid caps. Let's open it up and find out what it looks like. First up, Bugatti shooting record. Over the course of 10 shots, measured with 0.2 BBs, it has an energy between 1.70 joules and 1.68 joules. So it seems to be very consistent. We will see if that's true on the field. Little instruction manual which uh, tells you how you can take your gun apart, how to use it how to adjust the hop up and many other features little protective cover here what's also inside of this package is this little tool so you can adjust your iron sights a small bag of BBs which I normally don't use nice little speed loader so you can fill up your magazines one magazine this one's a high cap so that's why I ordered the mid caps because I don't really like playing with high caps. Now over to the gun itself. Here it is guys. The AKM, the sport version. Looks very cool. Your upper and your lower are made of metal, the pistol grip, the skeleton stock and your foregrip is all made of high quality polymer. The outer barrel is also made of metal so that's really good. Also I like the look of the muscle flash hider. Got some nice iron sights on this one. but. Of course I will put the scope on it. Some features about this gun. The fire selector is over here. Because it's from Germany it's semi only. So this is classified as a DMR at this point. Here you got your Bugatti F mark. And most of the times these are front wired. So here on the back of your dust cover there's a button. If you push that button, this folds open and here you can connect your battery. Some things about the internals of this uh, replica. Because this one is from the Bugatti line, they already fitted some cool upgrades inside this one. You get the Bugatti Core EFCU which is an electronic fire control unit which uh, protects your electronics inside of here so this weapon is already uh, compatible with 11.1 lipos so I think I will use one of those when I take it to the field so guys 
the AKM sports line version with the polymer skeleton stock. I think it looks very cool. Let's put some attachments on it and I will be right back with you. So guys, here it is again, this time with some attachments. I put a little holographic scope on top, also on the bottom side of the handguard there's an M-lock system. I attach some rails and a little foregrip so I can be a little bit more steady when I'm shooting at my enemies. Let's put one of the magazines in to finish it all up. Look at this bad boy guys. Looks amazing, can't wait to take it to the field. Let's do that, let's put it to the test, time for some action. Today we are playing at Copperhead Tactical, we are playing on Team Blue and our first objective of today is to locate Hank, which is a dummy weighing about 80 kilograms and we need to bring him to safety. We also have a medic in our team who can medic Hank, but before he can do so, he needs to find his medic case. Jongens, hier ligt Henk. Henk. It didn't take long for me to find Henk. After we found him, one of our teammates brought a stretcher so we could move him. We needed to transport Henk to safety of the villa, which is located in the village. <laughs> Gaat hij wel dat we er heen gaan? Ja, 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 Waar is die dood? Ja. Hoe werkt de tunicat? Goed. <laughs> Wat? Now our medic goes to work. He uses all the possible items he finds inside of the medic case to bring Hank back to life. Hank needs some attention, so he puts the wool inside of him. Also, it was time for some CPR. I think Hank is in very good hands, so we took off to find some enemies. Het! Hoi! Het! Blauw! Blauw!
I spot one more enemy in front of me, but I don't want to take the shot and hit him in the head, so I sneak up to him and try to go for the knife kill. Knife. Thanks. Ah, come on, man! Is that a hit? Was? Of course, I can't be 100% sure that was a hit, but I definitely think I hit that guy. Anyways, we move on. Moving towards the gas station to seek some more enemies. I spotted a few enemies coming from the respawn. I decided to let them move past me so I can flank them and attack them from behind. Hit! Hoi! Hey Nick! So guys, we are back from the field and now it's time for the second part of this review video about the Bugatti AKM Sports Line. We took it to the field, we put it to the test and as you can see in the video we made some pretty amazing kills with this one. I especially liked the one which was the single tap over quite some distance. And we did hit that enemy, so it proves that this AKM is really accurate. Maybe a little bit of luck was in play, but that doesn't matter. Now over to the review. First up, we're gonna talk about the looks of the AKM. I really like this weapon. Uh, I chose the one with the polymer skeleton stock, but on Bugatti there are lots of different versions with different stocks and also different handguards. I picked this one because I liked the looks of it. I like the skeleton stock, it's nice and firm and the padding on the back is really nice and comfortable when you're shouldering this weapon. So for the looks I'm gonna give this one a 9.5, it's almost perfect, could use some little touches here and there but after all there's always some room for improvements. Over to functionality, as you can see in the video we did manage to get quite some kills with this one. The accuracy was great, it shot perfectly straight, when I dialed in the hop up the range was also very good, so for performance wise I'm gonna give this one 8.5. I am going to tell you the first time that I received the AK, it had some problems with the hop up and it wasn't firing, I sent it straight back to Bugatti and they fixed it for me, it was only a few days and free of charge, so some great service from Bugatti there. I did want to mention that, so if you have any problems with your replica, please just send it back, they will fix it for you. So guys, another great review for the Bugatti AKM Sports version. Check out Bugatti's webshop for this replica, but also a lot of other cool replicas. Thank you all for watching, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more airsofting videos coming up in the future. And I hope I will see you on the next one.